can you hear me? Can you yeah, see the screen? Can, can you see the screen? Okay, we've got your screen. Yeah. All right. I'll call you yeah, after to fix it, Kathy. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Something's wrong with my Hotcom people, but I can't. I don't have time to reboot, so I'm just gonna have to roll with me here, and hopefully it all stays. Yeah, I don't have time to reboot, so let's see what happens. It is hard to tell when it dies. I think I'm talking, and all of a sudden everything's frozen. You know, it's like. Good luck, everyone. GIS is in the middle. CSIQ is the top one. I don't even know who I'm calling. I called the concierge and I meant to call Kathy. <laughs> concierge, this is like, the concierge is like, you need to reboot? <laughs> All right, focus. Here we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alpha, I have CSIQ up. I, I don't know, maybe you can't see the charts. Can everybody see? This is this is a top watch. Can you see my charts or not? All right. A little spready here. Oh, here we go. Okay, stop's going to be 1310. I don't have the entry yet. 69 by 10, CSIQ is valid. No, don't do it. Don't do it unless it hits. No, this could flip. Just wait. That's why you don't do anything until it hits. And that, that's off. And this hasn't set up yet. And 60 was the resistance here. That I'm, I'm going to move off. I'm going to get rid of this. CSIQ is the only thing I'm watching. And that entry is off. So just wait. Oh, this will be interesting. I don't want I need to do something here today. Okay, now I'm watching GIS. CSIQ didn't set up right. Let's see if this holds 60. Now I'm on GIS. Wow. Gosh darn it. No one should be in anything yet. should be in anything yet just wait I flip back now to CSIQ nothing setting up yet
Let's do 79 by 25 CSIQ. 79 by 25 CSIQ. And I don't know if this is even going to hit. 79 by 25. I don't even know if this is going to hit. Gosh darn it. Nope. Wow, people. Don't, don't be in anything yet. 79 by 25 CSIQ if it hits and I'm off GIS and, and no one should be in any trades yet and I don't even know if these things are going to set up. Market is extremely bullish. And this looks like it's frozen here. What the heck? No, it's not. Nope, that's off too. No one, no, no one should be in anything. Jeez, wow. I'm not in any trades. Nothing set up. Nothing to set up at all. Man, it's the market. Here, you can go long the market if you want. You can go long the market right now if you want to. If you want to trade, two thirty-seven twenty is a tight stop here in the spy. The market's going to take off. Absolutely no short is set up in here. Ay, ay, ay. That's not what I thought would happen at all. <sighs> nope. GIS is completely off. Here, I'll still watch a CSIQ, but if this doesn't set up, we're not doing anything. You can go long the spy. 95 by 25. 95 by 25 CSIQ. This is the last shot for this. And it's going to be a scalp. Trading so strange. Here, right there. Get it, get it, get it. Get the stop in. 25. This I'm scalping this. I'm scalping this, scalping this, scalping this. Here. Here. This is it. Through the low, I'm out. <sighs> Back to the time given. Oh, am I not? No, 25. I'm scalping this. Through the low, I'm taking it. You can almost even just take it any in the next one minute. Let's just see what it does. <laughs> Now, if you didn't do it, you could still do it. Everything's too bullish. It's not low. It's okay. It's just trading very weird. I don't want to give it any more room, though. I said 12.50. Let me just look at something here. Okay, let's see what happens. There's nothing else to do. You can go long this buy. I can't look at that right now because I'm not going to be in this long. It's working. It's just the market's very bullish. Here, CSIQ, this is it. I literally am taking it as soon as it gets down to the low. And it is trading kind of funky. Here, CSIQ. Gosh darn it. You can be low on the market. You can take in that out if you want. I'm just going to give it one more second. Just one more second. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it, this is it, this is it. 
We're lucky we got anything. I almost didn't do anything. Here, CSIQ. Here! God, it's trading so weird. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. I took it. I took it. It's just trading too weird. I, I, here, it's going to keep going, but it's too weird. It broke the low. I'm out. Just a quick trade. It's better than nothing. I don't like the way it's trading either. It's just too funky. Here, what's everybody doing? I mean, it's okay, but it's just trading very weird. Lucky we got anything at all. Well, that's it. GIS didn't set up. There's nothing else to do. Wow, look at how crappy that looks. You could still be in this, but it just it was it it was just acting so strange. It's got enough volume. I have no idea why it was acting like that. Koala bear's out. Is anyone still in it? I think 1250 is likely now. It broke the low, but I'm out. It's better than nothing. Just look at everything else here. Okay, the market could have actually another. A, a better entry or you could just take it put the stop at 237.20 if you want to be long the spy I think that's a better long than the Q's CSIQ I am done and it looks okay journey woman still in it came and do got out you could still be in it but the targets 1250 it's just trading so bizarre but I did give it a wide stop so it should hold you but it is weird looking I don't think it's because of the volume I don't know I don't have an explanation. I traded this before. It's we were just doing this to make money today. There was I wouldn't even be looking for a risk to reward in any short today. It was just not there. It just we played the setup here. It's still going. In fact, if anybody's still in this, if you really want to get tight with it, you could put the stop at break even. I wouldn't lose in this now, to be honest with you. I'm already out, but it could keep going. I I wouldn't take any chances today. Market's too bullish, and there was very little things to look at, and I almost didn't even do this. Here, CSIQ, it's still working. Journey Women's in it. Here, here you're going to get it under 60. I did a nice call here in a day that was squat. Journey Women is out. Boy, was there squat today. Squat did he squat? Let's get JC Penny. Oh, that's a good target. It's still going. I put the stop at break even if we're still in it. Let's look at target. Gotta get back in a groove here. Gotta get back in a groove, Arama. Okay, this went down to 54. Is anyone still in the CSIQ? I would put the stop at break even if you are. One quick trade and done today. Not chancing it. I haven't looked at this in ages. Wow, look at this. I haven't looked at that in a long time. The QCOM. And this looks really crappy. All right, what do you want to go over? Here, let's just go over everything. Here, CSIQ is still going. Literally, this is it. This is the morning exit on this. In a, in a dream world, it goes to $12, but I don't know what time that would be, and very unlikely, I think. Really set up very crappy today. Here, it's 12.50, though, is the number. Is anyone else still in this? I don't care that I'm out. It doesn't matter, I think. Did the best I could with it. Here, let's go over it. Thought this would hit, didn't. Wasn't crazy about the bar. Then I looked at my numbers and I'm like, wait a minute. I did say 1325, so fine. I that's the only reason I did this, to be honest with you people. I said resistance 1325. When it held it in this bar, I decided fine. And GIS didn't look good and didn't hold 60. So then we did it but it was trading weird. It's still kind of trading weird. It almost looks like it's not moving. It is. I don't know why. First I thought it was my internet, but it's not. It's just, it's just what the stock was doing. 
First target, 12.50, actually was the low of the day, then 12.50, it's getting there. It's basically there, 12.56. And it was a trade, it was better than nothing. Better than bupkis. So I would be out, really, 9.45. Market is strong. You could go long the market. I give the cues a wider stop, 132, 35 cents. Target's 135 if it keeps going. The SPY came in, you could, could take another entry in this. I think this is a better long today, the SPY and the cues. I don't know why it seems to be taking so long, but the this is, this is an all day trade that I think the market power trends today, and I think it looks really, really good. If you really wanna do a trade that will last all day and have a big target, it's the market today. The market gapped up and it looks like it's gonna fly, and the Q's made a new high. So is that the reason that these things didn't get big, big moves? Probably, although I really did think GIS would still work. This is a great follow through continuation gap to watch for tomorrow. Really should have worked today. Rallied into the open, which was fine, but this looks good for tomorrow. Money is money. That's the bottom line, Koala Bear. It was either that or do nothing. All right, what else do you want to go over? Then you can go long the market, Anna. If you didn't do the CSIQ, you can go long the market, but it is an all-day play. It is a gap. It's a bullish gap. Is anyone watching anything else? Let me look at sign up. Oh, let's look at the other things that gapped, which I didn't like. Yeah, look at this piece of crap. Gapped up, I knew it wasn't a long. What a waste of a something that we could have done to the downside. But obviously you can't short this, it gapped up. It was a crappy gap up though. And Len was the other one that didn't do anything right. Was up, then was down, then was neutral. Chris didn't really do anything at all right. What are the banks doing? Let's look. Remember, it's not earnings season, people. You have to be very, 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 very extra berry. <laughs> Careful with what we do. No, the market's just rallying. And this is still going. So if you're still in the CSIQ, which I'm not, but if you are, put the stop at 1290. Play it on through. Who knows? You might get this down to 12 something. I don't know. 12, 25, 12. Anyone in anything else or anyone want me to go over anything else? Let's see what is on the list for tonight. I'm happy we got something today, to be honest with you. And actually, CSIQ is still going. Uh, let me see. It is trading weird, though. Uh, FDX is tonight. Nike's tonight. Okay. What else? That's all I see. Nike and FDX. Let's look at them. You did GIS. It looks really ugly. If you did it, I would definitely be out. Nothing that it's doing makes any sense. It's green on the day and it's 947 and it looks like a piece of crap. So if you did it and scalped it for 200 bucks, I definitely... Just leave it. F for continuation short. Did this gap today?
What happened to this? I, I haven't followed this the last two days. Obviously, this fell hard on Friday, really. Three days down, three huge days. It's not a long, hard to short this here. I can't, I can't call anything here in this. It's, there's nothing to do. Yesterday, it had a good play. Wouldn't have done it Friday. Yesterday, it did gap down. I did not see this, though. I don't think it had any volume. Let me look. No, it didn't. No, that was today. Wait, hold on. Yesterday was the 20th. It is here. Yeah, so you know, it did. It did have volume at 9:20. So you know, I didn't see it. Too late. I wouldn't. I wouldn't short this here today. It did drop today. That's true. Don't think this is going to necessarily keep going. Remember, look, market, very bullish. Okay, let's look at FDX, and then let's look at the Nike. Oh, I haven't looked at these things in so long. Wow. So, I don't, I, you know, obviously we don't play these to the gap, but I think this gap's up. It'll be interesting to see what it does. If it gaps down, we'll rate it. My bias on this is that it's going to be higher. Uh, what was the other one, Nike? Alpha, if they didn't gap, then that's not what I do, but I'll look at them. Nike. This is tonight as well. Wow, this could do anything. So Nike and FDX are the watches for tonight, which should have good moves, but I don't know where they're going to gap or if they're going to rate well. At least we have big names to watch. Car. Car didn't gap, so that's why I didn't do it, Alpha. I only do gaps. I just, I don't do everything that falls on the day. I'm not shorting everything that's red. It's not what I do. You have to be able to predict it's going to fall. And this didn't gap either. So this is just falling. No trade I would have done in here. All right. Does anyone have any questions? Market isn't holding yet. I still think it does. Who's still in this? Anybody? Anybody still in the CSIQ? I think it should be out. This had one move. It was weird. Um, if you're new and you signed in late, you missed the trade. It was this. It was long since out. Yeah, I, I don't think anybody got an exact fill on this, but it doesn't matter. We got it, and we got quick out. That's okay. I mean, it, it, this wasn't moving in a, in a wild, volatile way. It just almost wasn't moving at all. That's what was bothering me about it. This was moving in a very volatile way that I did not like, and it is not red. It is green, and I'm not even going to call a trade in this. It's not right. It's not going to do anything right today. But it very well could tomorrow. You can't go long this day and you can't short it either. It's a bust. This made sense, even though it was acting strange. And actually, it's still going. It's still, it's still going. <clears throat> so, sometimes they'll slippage in things, but you put the stop in and it goes right up and you're up. You just can quick get out. And that's pretty much what I did. But you could still be in it. Does anyone want to go over anything or have any questions? Remember, it's not earning season right now. So we're going to try to stay on board with the consistency of picking good quality gaps and good quality trades. That's, that's the only thing that I can do. I can't force these things to work if in big, big ways. If they don't, 
and you still could be in this. This could very well go to $12 today, but you know, I like to be out fast. Let's see what the TIFF did today. You're welcome, Sedona Trading. Oh, here's the TIFF. Here's TIFF going to $95 today. Uh, Rashad, I look at targets. Wow, look at this. That's how I follow where to get out. And I also have exit signs that I'm watching when I'm watching the chart. So I combine it with exit signs and also and also um, targets. Which, which I go over all in the class. So, and this, this got basically to the first target and the second target. I didn't really write, well, I did write $12 down, but really in my mind, I was thinking that was a dream number. Because if you look at the stock and how it moves, this isn't even a buck. And we're already almost at a buck. So, you know, you kind of kind of have to look at it. This is a big move for the stock on the day already here at 1250-ish. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind. Also the market. So the SPY did not hold the low. The Qs did hold the low. Very interesting. Does anyone want to go over anything else? I'm not calling any more trades. Look at this GIS, it backed up. CSIQ was the only one. If we're making money, you can't complain if it's not a big move. I don't see anything that had a big move today. Even the market, which I still think is higher, is not doing it yet. So, you know, again, we have to be able to see it in the gap and before the open, and then we just take a clean, clean setup, and we have a clean move, and we get out. I think this was weird today and odd the way it, it looks. Even now, it looks like it's not moving, but it really is. I'm not sure why that is. It's very strange. It's very strange. It's not the volume. It has volume in it. So we do have two big reports tonight. Um, I, I don't know what they do. It'd be great if one of them would actually gap down and we could do one of them. Don't really want to short this if it gaps down, but if we don't have anything else to watch, I might have to. Let's look at cost. It's just a matter of how, you know, how much longer is this market going to keep going higher? This looks a lot better here today. Is anyone still in this at all? Anyone at all? Rashad, if you, if you take whatever trade that I call, you have to size yourself between the entry and the stop, okay? So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call this here. This is not, a, I'm not gonna call this here, but if I would, if I did think it was gonna keep going, which I don't, but if I did, I might call an entry in this and say 62 by 80, which is roughly 20 cents. So you would size yourself according to your monetary risk, okay? So it would be 20 cents, for example. If this was a new trade, and if I thought it was going to go to $12, that would be a good trade. It would be a 60-some cent move with a 20 cent stop, which is three R's. It very well could go there. It hasn't hit yet, and I'm not making an official call, but it could go there. Anyways, if you took 1,000 shares of something, that would be a $200 risk. You use the 20 cents. That's how you size yourself. It's a difference between the entry and the stop. And it's really 18 cents, but I usually rough it out between 10 and fives. Koala Bear is obsessed with swooshes for some reason. <laughs> CSX, you gave me 17 picks yesterday and only one swoosh, so I doubt it, but I'll look at it. <laughs> I think you forget what a swoosh is, Koala Bear. God knows we could use one this week. 
Uh, let's look. No, this isn't a swoosh. Why? Does anyone want to tell me? Anyone? Anyone at all? This is not a swoosh. Why? Let me see if I can fix this on my charts well. Journey Woman got it right. Let's see if anyone else gets it right. 